Hey guys, this is take four of this video. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this this one will, will make it to the end. Oh, it's been one of those days. I'm just saying. So I have finally, finally finished the 2020 digital planner kit that I have been talking about forever. And I have made a planner out of the kit. This is already sold, so the this planner will not be in the shop, but the digi kit will be in the shop today. So um, I am going to do kind of a quick flip of this planner journal um, <laughs> because I've already flipped through it three times. Um, and then I'm going to talk about the digi kit and show you guys some of the pages and the different paper that I use to print it on. And all of that good stuff all right and you have to excuse my sniffly coffee self i'm at the tail end of this cold but feeling much much better so this is you know my regular eight and a half by five and a half size journal it has a one and three quarter inch spine and i used the cricut and some heavy chipboard and i cut out 2020 and put a real pretty image of a sunset with some trees and some birds. You can see them right there. Birds flying behind it and a feather. And then I just use some twine or jute. And then there's little bitty screws. Oh, there we go. Little bitty screws in each corner. All right, and then there is what the side looks like with the little tabs. And then, um, the person who is purchasing this journal wanted some tabs on the top, so there's that. So there are 12 signatures in this journal, one signature for each month of the year. And let me make sure I'm in frame, I am. And the, the cover page for each of the months is the bird of the month. And I didn't know that was a thing, but I did some research and it is a thing. So I have just punched out little tabs with my tab punch and stamped on them and then put a tab on the top there. Here's the front pocket and it's got some of the vintage tape I made and a feather sticker and then some little bits of ephemera to play with. And so in each signature there are the same but different pages. So. The front of each signature, you know, will have the month and year and a different bird. The inside page, they all has this pocket with made out of file folder and a little black and white image of a bird's nest with eggs. And then there's some kind of goodie tucked in. The second page of each signature will all be different. They're all different pages or papers that I have. And then so I'm, I'm going to show you this one and then kind of start over and get going. Um, I did do a little bit of stamping. So this is the page. The second page is a different page in each signature. So the third page is printed on tea stained paper. And it's a lined page that says memories. And there's a bird nest faded into the background. The other side is blank. The second page, or the, this page is a to-do list printed on a dark parchment paper. The, the middle of each signature is the month, and I did not number these so that you could, A, use them for different year if you would like. Um, but some people like to write in the numbers or stamp them or use stickers, you know, all that kind of thing. So that's why I did not put the dates the numbers on these and then there's a real pretty floral and bird image faded into the background and this is I printed on dark parchment the back of that has a lined notes page there's your blank tea stained there's a blank journal page and then here's this beautiful eco dyed paper and then the back of each signature has a pocket with some goodies in it and I think they all have birds on them and then the very back of each one has the 2020 calendar on it. All right, so I'm just gonna show this cute little envelope quick and it just has a journal card in it. Super cute. All right, so here we go. So here's February and then there's 
in almost each one of these front pockets is a plate with a bird and the name on it. And here's a little page of stamps to play with. This is some Japanese marbling paper. And then we have the same, the same, and so on. So I'm just gonna keep flipping until I get to the different kinds of papers and then I'll tell you guys what those are. This is one of my favorite images in the whole book. I love this. And this comes, um, most of the pockets in here come as ephemera in the kit. Here's a little, this is made out of a file folder. And there's March. And goodies in the pocket. This is Peterson's field guide page. There's a little bit of stamping. The other side of that one. Another image, ephemera. Here is April, again with the goodies. I love this, it's almost like a tr see-through tracing paper, but I just thought it matched the cover of that signature so well. That's why I put that page in. There's a feather, there's April. There's a few of these pockets that aren't part of the kit. Um, I had printed these off special because this bird is one of her favorites, the person who is purchasing this. There's May, another image. This is a book, uh, signature out of a book binding book. This is binding in France. I thought that would be fun. That's the other side of that. There's some stenciling on that page. This is a Peterson's Guide page as well. There's June, some stamping. And I did a bunch of different sewing. I usually, you know, just do zigzag or straight. I was just playing around with the sewing machine, having some fun. I love that image and perfect for July. Here's an old ledger page that flips up with a tag clipped on. More stenciling. There is your funky woodcock. August. This is an envelope and card from a set that paper that my daughter brought me back from Italy. Most of you know I was just in Alaska taking care of the grandkids while my daughter and son in law were in Italy. She brought me all kinds of goodies. Um, there's some more stamping. Another ledger page, and there's some stickers and some more of the vintage tape. There's another pocket with some goodies in it. And September. Oh. This is just some li lined stationery that I have, and then I stamped on the matching envelope and clipped that on. And there's a stamp there. And another one of those bird cards clipped on. Here's October. I thought, how could I not put a piece of this beautiful orange dyed paper in October with some stenciling. There's a little card clipped on there. Pocket, calendar, there's November. This is a uh, Tomy River paper. And if you guys look in the description box of most of my videos, you'll see I have a My Favorite Things list. Um, and so if I remember, <laughs> I know that the, this Tomy River paper is on that list. It is, and it's, see how it's almost see-through and it's the softest, oh, I just, it's the neatest paper. So where you, the link is down below where you can find that if you're interested. The other side of that page. Another pocket. Here is December. I put this beautiful mulberry paper in. And I stamped on the mulberry paper there. There's some goodies in that pocket. Here is the back page is eggs. And then here is the back pocket. Oh, I'm gonna put that stamp on there, I forgot. So the pocket, oops, the pocket runs this way. And I cut, I cut it from the 
another page so it matched up perfectly so it blends right in and there is just one of those plates <clears throat> I was just playing around and made a little envelope and journal card out of a book page in there and one of the fun little playing cards and that little guy might go on there don't know yet all right so there's the planner so that's what that looks like so now let me show you guys the pages that come in the digi kit so let's here let's start this way so here are two of the monthly signatures these i have printed on a light parchment paper so that's what those look like printed on that let me just see here and when you see the image in the shop it'll look like this you know this will look white but just know that that it it won't print white you know I our printers don't print white but it so the background will be whatever color the paper is you're printing on um, these will all print the color that they are of course um, so just know that anything that's white as you see it in the Etsy listing uh, there is no background there it'll print out on whatever color paper you're printing it on gosh I hope I'm making sense so there of course is 12 pages like this one for each month here is the notes and to-do page printed on tea stained paper with the nest faded into the back here is a journal and memories page printed on the light parchment and it's the nest is really light on this one so hopefully you guys can see that I didn't put this one, I don't think I put this one in the planner. Oops, upside down. It's just a nest on each page, so when you, you, whichever way you fold it, and that's on the light parchment as well. Here are the two ephemera pages, um, and I recommend printing these on a cardstock. This one I accidentally printed on parchment, but you guys get the idea. So there are five images on each one, and you can use them to make journal cards or pockets or, you know, whatever you like. So that's what the ephemera pages look like. And then here's the calendar page. Um, this is just one I printed blank that didn't have the month on the top, and that's on parchment. So, you know, you can print on any kind of paper you like. Um, I know some people are fortunate enough to have printers, but the tea stained paper will go through some of us don't um, one of my ink jets I can do it I have to do you know one page at a time stick it in there my laser is great with tea stain paper um, and the other thing if you have a laser printer and you're just printing black and white some people don't realize that you can print your pages out you know on your white paper and then tea stain or coffee stain them and the ink will not run only with a laser so know that if you don't want to fight with your tea stained pages and you're doing you know just some black print or grayscale what have you um, you can print first and then stain after all right and then this was just me printing on the white paper to show you the difference that it will print on whatever color paper you print on now I have had many people in the past when I've made planners say, how on earth do you do 12 signatures? It's super easy. And so this morning I quickly made a template um, and put it in the shop. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to put it with the digi kit because I had already maxed out the allowed number of um, images I could put in there. So it's its own listing, but it is a, it's a 12 signature punch and um, the page punch template. So I suggest printing it on cardstock. So you just print it out. Um, and then, you know, everybody makes their signatures differently. Uh, so however, you know, however you make them, um, you know, that's up to you. But this one is set up perfectly. You just score it right down where your dots are and then you can lay those right in your pages to punch your holes and it's they match up perfectly 
to this so that when you sew your signatures in, they will be perfectly spot on. You see how they're absolutely perfectly lined up? So you don't get, you know how sometimes you'll get one that's just a little bit off? It's because these holes weren't exactly lined up with these holes. So anyway, so that's that. And um, I did put a note, if, if anybody needs spine punches or um, you know, you want a special size or whatever, just shoot me an email or message me on Etsy. Um, it doesn't take me too long at all to whip one up and they're only gonna be $1.25. And so, yeah, and I plan on putting some more um, in the shop, you know, different sizes like six, eight, and 10 punch sizes. So just reach out to me if you want something special because I can do that for sure. Um, and same thing goes for the kit. If you have any questions, if you don't make journals and you would like a planner, reach out to me. I do custom orders. Um, and I'm all caught up on them at the moment. So the first person to reach out is the first person in line for a custom order. I do have a couple fun projects I'm working on. I have another planner kit. It won't be a digi because I have used um, some images and pages that I have um, purchased from Etsy. But just know that there will be another planner coming into the shop soon and it will be um, flowers. It'll be flowers of the month will be the cover pages. So that'll be fun. And I am going to have a live sale soon. Um, I was planning on having one this Saturday. I don't know yet if that's gonna happen. I'll let you guys know. And that is all I can think of right now. So yeah, any questions, comments, um, leave them down below, email me, reach out to me on Etsy. All my links are in the description box. And I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Bye guys.